Uh, Matthew Whitaker yeah. is here. He's a sure. former acting attorney general. Sir, this raid can surely only be justified if we know the reasons for it. Therefore, the affidavit must be released. That's my train of thought. Is it yours? Yes, yeah, Stuart. And good to be with you today. It's not only my train of thought. I think, you know, this transparency that the FBI needs to show the American people uh, should be broad, and it should be this affidavit at least. And, you know, remember, this was the first time in American history that a search warrant was executed on a former president's residence. And, you know, I think that's an extraordinary uh, move. And so obviously it needs to be justified by extraordinary uh, circumstances and facts. And the only way we can learn about that is through the affidavit. And I just think the more that the FBI appears to be hiding the ball or otherwise not being uh, forthright with the American people, uh, that only raises uh, suspicions that this was a politically motivated uh, exercise of, of their power. Uh, um, a man in Pennsylvania was arrested and charged for making death threats against the FBI. He made these threats on a right-wing website called Gab, and it followed the raid on Trump's home. How do we turn... The president says, President Trump, he says he wants to turn down the temperature. All right, when you've got threats like yeah. this and actions like this, how do you turn down the temperature? Yeah, well, I agree with President Trump that we do need to lower the temperature. But remember, you know, as I was mentioned earlier, is that this was an extraordinary step taken by the FBI. And so the American people, I think, uh, are upset, especially Donald Trump supporters are upset. And while political violence should never be um, uh, uh, happen in, in American politics or in society, I think this case, uh, unfortunately, has inflamed uh, folks. But, I, you know, in my experience, we need to make sure that we treat all political violence as not only abhorrent, but treated, you know, similarly. And there are examples um, where that hasn't always been the case, including the threats to, you know, Supreme Court justices. I, I don't think this will ever end. It's Trump derangement syndrome that's been going on for six or seven years now. And no matter what happens after this raid, it will not go away. You agree with me on that? Yeah, that's unfortunately uh, the conclusion I think a lot of people, including myself and obviously you, are making because it's just, you know, it's been going on for six years. It started with, you know, before the 2016 election, and there just appears to be a segment of the Department of Justice that is just wants to get Trump so badly that they will take uh, extraordinary steps uh, to try to get him. Very sad story. Matthew Whitaker, thanks as always for being on the show. It's always appreciated. See you again All soon, right. we hope. Stuart, thank yes, you. Sir.